Hi one, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, after the air accident that claimed the life of CDF or Gola and uh, nine others, we have uh, someone who survived. And uh, this was a videographer by the name Frank Ford Karanja Mogiri. In fact, according to the allegation, is that he jumped mid-air when he knew that all was not well. So he is recovering in the hospital. We wish him well as he continued to recover. But above all, we have seen the investigation in uh, uh, Marquette East, Kasudi and Kenyan views. But before we go deep into that, just a, a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe as a master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, this is what Bob Owino uh, posted on his Facebook page. If all these questions can be answered, then our hearts may stop bleeding. Otherwise, Mambo. Nitatu. In reference to what you said, Mambo Nimatatu. Number one, where was the West Com commander? Number two, where was the Defense Forces Sergeant Major? Number three, where was the Army commander? <laughs> Number four, why was a whole CDF using one helicopter with no 50 SCB helicopter escort in an operation area. Very fundamental question. Very fundamental question. Number four, why was he in the company of junior officers only? Because <laughs> those who have already suffered death with him, they were just junior officers with him. Why not senior? Were people aware of what was going to happen? So they avoided this. Number four, which rank should fly a helicopter used by the CDF? So this was these were just juniors who are flying this one. Eh? And why? Number seven, who gives parade to CDF in an operation when he is about to inspect his troops? <laughs> they were not there. So who received him? At least need to have senior officers there receiving him. Eh? Number seven, uh, number eight, how many helicopters should they, a CDF use while visiting an operation area? He required to moja. Now, who is chief commander? Uh, uh, who is uh, the army commander, CDF? Chief of armed uh, forces. Number nine, why was he? the only one to inspect a school and not his juniors. Imagine, sorry for that, imagine a school being put up after it was damaged by these bandits. So a whole CDF going to launch a school, but we have his deputy and other junior officers who would have just taken that role. Ninini ni sukuma mpaka yeye di anaenda kulonji ile shuli. Sabu mahali tumefikia na mamba mbae nafanika elegeyo mara kweti, you talk about baringo. First of all, wadu na wafawa kuwa kuanga kuenda huko kuanga tuwanze tu kwa wanasiasa. Ruto mwenyewe hajawai kuwa huko. As the president, and he should be the first one because of perception and being the head of state. Wakanya wata kumbuka kulikuwa na mwanajeshi mkubwa wanajeshi kule, wata kumbuka kulikuwa na mkubwa sasa wa nchi mzima hajawahi kanaga huko gashagwa hajawahi kanaga huko kitu nakiandika alienda huko akasign kitabu akitoka huko imechoma the following day pamoja na shule number 10 who should be the next cdf going by the tonja rule and who is to deputize him will that deputy be the cdf by 2027 because remember Ogola has just served one year. As they will be appointing another person for his replacement, he will serve just that term. Ikiisha, mambo ni hivo. So the next person will be there. 
and this next person definitely he might be in a, uh, he might be appointed the next deputy CDF so Ogona from Kenya Air Force next is going to be is it Kenya Navy after that it already was Kenya Army while they were at Omulima. So it's going to be the deputy. Very important question. Because then that person, the aim is on 2027 and going forward. So, you know, when I can appear at a committee, I'm going to see us on Last one, but not least. Why is a General Ogona dead just after the recent change in KDF. Remember the latest changes that were made? Ruto appointed someone as the DP, the deputy uh, CDF, last month, 8th March, and we did that discussion here. So it's not long ago. Those are the fundamental questions from Babu Nguino. Now, what is going to open your eyes is the response from the Member of Parliament, Oscar Sudi, a close ally of William Ruto, a man who sometimes speak on behalf of William Ruto on things that Ruto cannot speak directly. This is the reaction from Oscar Sudi. Babu Owino, please be mature and sensitive. However much you are a politician, please do not politicize everything, even misfortune like accident. Grow up and be sensitive to Kenyans and the families that lost their beloved ones. We, we have lost many people through accident, either by air or by road. Do not be too quick to conclude. Give the investigator time to tell us what really happened. I personally knew General Francis Ogola after he was appointed CDF. He was mature, wise, and calm. Calm man, please accord him respect, even when he is deceased. The same military ranks that flies alongside with the president are the same rank that flew alongside General Ogola, stop the pettiness. So Sudi definitely is confirming to us that he knows a lot. And that was his sharing here. There was no leadership wrangle in the military. There was no contest in succession. So he knows that there was no wrangles. How did he know? He's not one of them. He said there's no Contest in succession. How does he know this? And it's not one of them. General Ogola, sorry for that, would have clearly uh, clearly finished up his term and retire peacefully. FYI, why would uh, someone be interested in uh, influencing the leadership of the military yet? The same person has presidents and uh, presidents at hand. Be sensitive. The country is mourning the loss of nine gallons, gala military officers. Do not trivialize such a huge loss. Be human. That was Oscar. So you can see his writing. Eh? But now, what will surprise you is some of the response from Kenyans. I saw my friend Eagle. Uh, Eagle Ezra, <laughs> I think Kunawala Wanamjua is my very close friend. Eh? Well planned, well executed to achieve Akachia Panama Dots. And he shared this image that was posted, eh? it's a screenshot that was posted by K24 in 2022 on Monday, 17th October. This is what they captured Dwale saying. Dwale says Ruto to deal with the Senior KDF officers accused of forcing Chebukati to moderate presidential election. To do what? 
to deal with the senior KDF officers. That was Adel Wale. Ni meache yo hapo. David Ochola. Mr. Wright, you want to tell us in the Republic of Kenya, people nowadays has no right to, to ask questions unless you know something that you don't want people to ask. We are in mourning and I am sure you guys are celebrating. But remember, there was a time such evil does were living and now they are dead. Whoever planned this will soon join Ogola and the rest too. Honda Babu Owino asked fundamental and very importantly legitimate questions everyone across the world is asking now about the tragedy. Very strong message there. And lastly, another one here. In Takani Achiapotu, we will interpret the way Duncan Awili. If there was truly nothing, why are you mad and at Babu? As much as Babu may be wrong, the history of bloodshed in this country, everybody knows, and that's what brings questions, even in a clear circumstance. We, we beg you to spare for us Babu. Attacker near chair hapo. Let us be in the comment section to continue this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.